My name is Whitney Buckman with the Whitney Richardson Zoo. I'm the curator of education. And today we're having celebrating our 90th birthday of the zoo. And back, about 90 years ago, the zoo started with just two skunks. And now we've actually moved on to a much greater, grander thing. In the 80s, we became accredited by the AZA, the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, putting us in the top 10% of zoos in the nation. And we're just continuing on celebrating uh, the endeavors of the zoo and the community at large for supporting us. No, let's go get our cookies first. Okay. Let's feed you first. Yeah. All right, we're gonna make it right here. I'm just No, do it Justin. Are related to the African leopards, but they are um, a different species. His face is a little bit bigger, and they do just look different. Uh, besides the fact that they obviously live in very different parts of the world, and he's got a thicker coat again because of the snow. Um, and so these do actually live in, um, they can live in the same spot that our snow leopard does too. So sometimes there's these cold camera traps that are set up in the wild um, that we use to monitor these guys because obviously they would be very hard to see, very hard to track. Um, and there have been cameras where both um, leopards and snow leopards have been found together. So um, they don't obviously live very, very close to each other, but they do occupy the same space at um, similar times. And then they also live in a similar area as the palace cat, that grumpy little teeny tiny cat that lived in the do lives in the domes over there. Um, those guys all do live in the same area as well. So we've got a bunch of snow-liking cats <laughs> that all are in the same spot. 